الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد just a quick word in light of some recent events in Philadelphia a quick word as it relates to innovation and how innovation is misguidance and how all innovations must be condemned and rebuked in the religion even if a person had a good intention Prophet every Yom al-Jum'ah he would ascend the minbar in his khutbah al-hajah he would say wa iyyakum wa muhdathat al-umur fa inna kull muhdathat bid'ah wa kull bid'at dalala wa kull dalala fi an-nar and beware of newly invented matters in the religion every newly invented matter in the religion is innovation every innovation is misguidance and every misguidance is in the hellfire Abdullah ibn Umar from the virtuous companions radiyallahu anhuma he said kull bid'atin kull bid'atin dalala wa in ra'aha an-nasu hasana every innovation is misguidance even if people deem it to be good also there's a narration collected by al-bayhaqi shaykh al-bani he declares to be authentic and sa'id ibn musayyib he saw a man praying sabu raka'at after the sun had risen and he forbade it from doing so so the man said Ya Abu Muhammad speaking to Sayyidina Musayyib he said Ayyu'adhibni Allahu ala salah will Allah punish me for praying he said no lakin yu'adhibuk ala khilaf sunnah however Allah will punish you for opposing the sunnah so it's just not the prayer a person may say I'm just praying but if a person does a matter, even if it's prayer, but it's done in a fashion, in a manner that hasn't been legislated in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then it's rejected. Lastly, we go to the narration of Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu with the people in the circles. When they were in the masjid making dhikr, the, the origin of dhikr is that it's legislated, but the manner in which they were doing it was not legislated. So they were making dhikr in these groups And a man would stand over them saying Sabbihu mi'a Say subhanallah a hundred times and he would do it Kabbiru mi'a Say Allahu Akbar a hundred times and he would do it Hallilu mi'a Say la ilaha Allah a hundred times and they would do it And when Abdullah bin Mas'ud he came in the masjid He rebuked these individuals And they said We only want it good Innama aradna khayran Innama aradna khayran We only want it good He said well come how many, t- how many times people desire good? Come in murid and al-khair. Lam yusibu. How many times people want good and, and they don't achieve it? So it's just not about a person doing an act of ibadah. But a person must do an act of ibadah as it was legislated by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Along with his times, along with his fashions, along, along with his fashion and mannerism along with its number this is very important and it's upon those who know and those who have ilm when they see these matters of innovation to condemn them to condemn them not that we remain silent upon them no matter who a person is it doesn't matter if a person has status or if a person has a name and things like this bid has rejected from everybody no matter who comes with it no matter who comes with innovation then bid it must be rejected so inshallah ta'ala, this is just a brief advice that I wanted to give. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide his all to that which he loves and, please, and, and that which he is pleased with. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.